All right, so I've done a video about USGS stream gauges before. Um, I'm gonna try to capture, but not decode, um, a satellite uplink to, I think it is, GOES 15 or 16. Um, I showed this page in one of my, in another video, on the extended video on USGS stream gauges, but I'm interested in, and I'll show you here in a second, because I'm at the stream, kind of, this one, goes goes west, it goes 15, and the frequency I'm going to be interested in is around this 401.8, um, and it tells a little bit about the modulation here, it's 8 PSK, so I'm actually running Linux here, so it's GQR, GQRX, um, if I had windows, I would get a better zoom in here, and so there should be a signal coming up here at 505. And here's an idea of where I am. If I zoom in, that's the antenna right there in the middle of the screen, and it's pointing up at the satellite, and the satellite is geostationary. So, three minutes. <laughs> and this thing broadcasts every 15 minutes. And in the other video, long video on these stream gauges, that's how I I use the USGS streams, the um, their website to kind of gleam when they're uh, can't see it very well, but when the last broadcast was, and it's usually about every 15 minutes, and sometimes every some of them will be every hour. And I've seen this broadcast once before. This is only my second time. I just don't like waiting around for 15 minutes for each broadcast. I think last time it was a little bit around the 401.7 megahertz. <laughs> so I'm just giving an idea of what the signal looks like if you happen to like be out and about and you see one of those. And you can't see it very closely from here, but it's a cross Yagi uh, if you see those out and about. And they're usually a solar panel too. There's a solar panel right there in the middle of it. <laughs> so I just try to get a clear. Uh, signal. Record while I'm at it. <laughs> Where am I at? 504. This will be a long minute. <laughs> As you can see, I got a little bit of a. I didn't turn the squelch on. So I think what we'll see is you'll see the signal go up, but it will be a little bit here to the left. So I may not hear it very well. I have it set on narrow FM. <clears throat> like I said at the beginning of the video, if I had had windows, I would be able to zoom in better. And you can kind of tell a little bit from the modulation when you zoom in. All right. <clears throat> Any second now. Come on. And this one broadcasts every 15 minutes. So you'll see the data burst. So I'm assuming if you find one that broadcasts every hour, the data burst will be uh, bigger. Because it has to transmit an hour's worth of data. Because I think these, there goes. Bam, that was it. <laughs> so yeah. That's what a satellite uplink signal from a USGS stream stream gauge looks like going to the uh, ghost 13 satellite and this uh hold on those signals are pretty easy to find I if you just google meteorological satellite frequencies this is usually the second link this page right here all right thanks for watching I think on my next video I'm gonna try to do a uh, just a vertical Yagi stream gauge because those ones I actually know how to decode. <laughs>